Knoxville Public Library, our 100th year, 1921 to 2021. Welcome to Knoxville Public Library. The force behind the project, Mary Holbert. She had the help of several others, including Gertrude Case. and Martha Holbert. The library made the papers many times through the years, like this article in 1968, appearing in the Free Press Courier. What was life like that year in Knoxville? Here are a few ads found in the papers at the time. The Charleston and Flappers were the bee's knees. Martha Holbert wrote about the early times. Dear library friends, wish I might be there to see how the library has grown and again see the faces of people who were and are dear to me. The library project was a struggle the first years when it was housed on the second floor of the town hall through the goodness of the town fathers. They were not to blame for the poor condition of that building. It was just siding nailed to the uprights. The winter winds would moan and groan and the librarians would get such cold numbed feet and hands and go across the street to dear Helen Case to thaw themselves. People who loved to read would come and come again. The Traveling State Library was made available if we paid the freight. This gave more variety and the number of readers increased and we were puffed up with pride of accomplishment. Someone has to have a vision of what a nice town and good people need and deserve. And as a shining example, the generosity of people and many putting their shoulders to the wheel and developing a love for reading, placing it the most attractive way before the public and young people especially. More praise to all of you. Keep right on. With precious memories, Martha Holbert. Eugene A. Seeley remembers early days of the Knoxville Public Library. The stairs were long, but I hung on to my mother's hand as the steps were steep. But we were going to the library. No, not the Main Street Library, but to Knoxville's first library. At the top of the stairs, on the second floor, we turned left and left again until we entered a room with shelves and books. Seated with their backs to the windows at the front of the building were the librarians, Martha Holbert and Gertrude Case. After checking out some children's books like Dumbo the Elephant and Pinocchio, we retraced our steps back downstairs, noticing an odor peculiar to the building, as this was the town hall, which housed the town's firefighting equipment. The hose carts were wound with hoses drying out. The carts were hand-drawn or pushed, ready to be hauled out again. Other equipment hung on the walls. At the back of the room, was the town's jail with a large padlock now housed in the Holbert room of the current library. The town hall was located on the east side of Case Street. 
It was conveniently located across the street from Miss Case's home and behind the home of Miss Holbert. Currently, it is a parking lot for the Knoxville Deerfield Fire Department. Originally, the town hall was the home of Knoxville's YMCA, a group of firefighting men with smartly designed parade uniforms. In 1947, the library moved to a new home. From the Elmira Star Gazette, Knoxville Library. Checking in the new books at the Knoxville Public Library are Miss Gertrude Case Left and Mrs. Chestina Youngs. Miss Case had been librarian since 1921 when the library was first opened in the town hall. In 1947, it was moved to its present location on Main Street and was the Episcopal Church. When longtime library supporter Mrs. Ethel Ashton died in 1955, she left a generous gift to the library from her estate. This allowed the library to purchase a larger home. In 1956, the library was incorporated as a 501c3 nonprofit organization with provisions for a local history museum and archives. This was an addition to its function as a lending library. With Mrs. Ashton's gift, the library purchased the former home of Mrs. Abby McNeil Billings Brewster and moved there in January 1958. Rose Seeley was the librarian at this time. Sites around town by 1970. By this time, Knoxville Public Library joined the Potter Tioga Library System. KPL became affiliated with the Pennsylvania State Network of Public Libraries, receiving expertise and annual aid to help with services. Storytimes for Children with Thema Howland and Geraldine Patterson, 1972. Jan Weaver with Children, 1974. Louise Clark, Ann Lug, and Lucille Hillman plan an event. Services expanded during the late 1970s to include interlibrary loan, large print, audiobooks, computers for patrons to use, and more. Programs, exhibits, and story times continued. Ann Lug, Edwin Glover, Eugene Seeley, with Representative Matthew Baker, 1980s. Chris Dudman with Story Readers, 1992. 1997, Viola Mortimer, Betty Parsons, Doris Skinner, Jane Glover, Linda Skinner. Student volunteer Thomas Baker tackles another dirty job, 2001. 
generous gifts from the estates of Mrs. Elaine Lugg and Mrs. Jane Glover benefited the library during this era. Mr. David Stainbrook, a Knoxville resident and library supporter, left a generous gift from his estate in 2007. He expressed a wish that it be used toward expanded space for programs. In May of 2011, a tornado changed Knoxville's landscape and the look of the library as well. With the landscape altered and with generous gifts of the Glovers, Mrs. Lugg and Mr. Stainbrook, the library began an expansion project in 2012. Hammers, nails, concrete, and blocks. Fall 2012 to summer 2013, architect was Larry Four, head contractor was Marvin Fulmer. Resettling new spaces for programs, large and small. Bonnie McCormick, Ellen Williams, Vance Stedman, Elaine Van Sickle, Debbie Bernadier, and Brenna Stedman. 2015. Family programs include events like Jane Austen T, Duffy Lorenz, Matilda Drake, Sherry Vitulli, Bonnie McCormick, Teresa Sasserson, and Chris Jolly. Ellen Williams as hostess for the event. Crafting and card classes are offered each month. The library continues to offer summer programming and events. Pictures are from previous years. Current Library Staff 2021 Sherry Vitulli, Duffy Lawrence, Ellen Williams, Tina Painter. As we look behind into the future, the Knoxville Public Library is grateful for community support throughout the years. Volunteer groups have helped with projects and community service. Charitable donations and gifts help keep our doors open to serve our area with high quality materials, programs, education, and fun for all ages. We look forward to taking this mission into the next hundred years. Thank you for being part of one of Knoxville's enduring treasures.